And welcome back to Hannity as we continue to expose what's really going on in spring break in America. Now, this past weekend, Ainsley Earhart, she went down to Panama City Beach, Florida, and spent a shift riding along with the Bay County Sheriff's Department to see just how they managed to keep a lid on all the spring break chaos. Take a look. Yeah, night before last was uh, quiet. It was chilly. And then all of a sudden, it just broke all hell bad. broke loose. We had firearms every night, I think, so far we've had firearms. Mike had a guy that had a gun sitting right under the armrest. And we know that it seems like this year everybody is in more physical than in years past yep. for whatever reason. So officer safety, stay out of the crowds. Make sure that you're backing each other up. If we uh, get way too crowded and we need uh, to be more reactive, we'll pull you back out. You know, we're trying to force every aspect that, that we can as far as law enforcement goes, but there's sometimes that we are just outnumbered on the beach when you have two, three hundred thousand people partying. Some things you just can't get to, uh, be it an officer safety issue that we can't get into the middle of the crowd and, and deal with something. I granted, if it, it is obviously a, an issue of life threatening, nature will be there and we'll go in and we'll do what we need to do. So we pack in probably a year's worth of different crimes and, and issues and incidences in a six week period that you know usually could be spread out between a whole so year the of things. Of arrests in the six week period that six week period? Uh, oh no, it, it our arrests go sky high. I, I believe last year's spring break we arrested close to seven hundred people in that six week operational period and just last week we were already at five hundred so I know we'll probably go over that amount this year. And anytime you get the a few hundred thousand students or, or tourists that want to come and party and, and relax and have a good time. But one, definitely the alcohol is a huge issue. Hey, how much you had to drink tonight? I really couldn't tell you. You couldn't tell me? Okay, well do me a favor, go ahead and place your hands behind your back, okay? You can... uh, majority is alcohol related. Traffic crash or a DUI or fights and, uh, and intoxication beyond their capabilities and, and then you have the folks that will come in and prey on somebody that's that is inebriated and, and you have the robberies and you'll have the sexual batteries we call them the hundred milers or 200 milers the people that come in to prey on the college kids college kids get drunk and scream and have fun but we have all the other factors that come in that bring guns that rape rob pilfer and, and that's what that's that's what we really have to deal with more than anything You see college students that are out here partying and they've partied too much and they end up dying? It is unfortunate, but uh, every year, unfortunately, we do work death investigations that uh, can include alcohol poisoning, can include balcony falls, DUI accidents. It's very unfortunate and we try and combat the problems that we see that might cause an injury like that balcony climbing, for instance. I know we've had one balcony fall where someone fell like eight or nine floors and actually lived. He hit a tree. And it's, uh, every year that we have fatalities with that. All right, joining us now with uh, to shed more light on this report, Ainsley, thanks so much for being sure. back. Every year they have a fatality, set? Every year you can count on it, they say, at wow. least one. And that stretch of the strip is maybe a mile long. It's one county. It's not very big. They can always count on at least one fatality, kids falling off the balconies. You know, in spring break, this is nothing new. It's been going around and been going on since the beginning of time, it seems. Yeah. We were all there. But what they're saying is it's gotten more shocking. You see the, what the girls are doing the on the drinking. beach right there. Yeah. One girl... Uh, naked standing on a box and letting guys reach up and do whatever they was wanted. Was she conscious or? She was conscious. She I... had her bikini top on, nothing on the bottom. There... And it's all over social media. This this poor girl, her life, her reputation Will never be the same. is ruined. All right. So th when I was listening to the police, they're saying stay out of the crowds. They're, apparently they have, a, uh, I yeah. guess, a policy because they're so outnumbered. And this exactly. goes on for six or seven weeks every exactly. year. Um, is that the reason they stay off the beach for the most yeah, part? Yeah, a lot of people last night after they watched uh, the first part of the series, they said, where are the cops on the beach? Why aren't the cops there monitoring what these kids are doing? Why is this girl standing naked on a box? And why are these guys not getting arrested for taking advantage of her? But the cops are saying, as you saw a little bit in the piece, that they A, lack the manpower, and B, they cannot send in 
a few of their guys into the beach because they're outnumbered. And so you've got hundreds of kids there, there's that a real threat overpower. For them. There's a it's real a threat safety, for the police. It's a police safety yeah. concern. And so yeah. I don't know if that's at the state level, if that's at the county level, whatever they need. They need more money, more assistance, but they need something needs to be done so that these kids in America are protected and are not doing things illegally. Let me go back to the, the other point. You also raised it last night and you brought it up in the piece again tonight about the hundred milers. They're talking about robbing, rapes, gun violence, mm -hmm. that in mm -hmm. other words, there Roofing are people that are preying on the kids that are drunk and using drugs mm -hmm. and they're selling drugs. Mm -hmm. So in other words, there is a whole cottage industry to prey on those kids exactly. as well. And then the police can't possibly have the numbers needed to right. protect and them. These, these Deputies, I'm telling you, Sean, I was very impressed. They, Dan, our producer, we were both in the car um, in Hollywood, our photographer, the three of us kept saying the whole time, we can't even get to, when, when the calls would go off and we were riding in this deputy's car, we would arrive there on the scene where they're arresting someone and they already have him in the back of the car and there were five other cops there at the same time. They are making these calls, they're there within a minute's time and they're protecting the beaches. And the kids are also more aggressive than ever before. In other words, 100%. their jobs are in jeopardy. 100%. And that's why they're saying walk away from yeah. the crowds, be careful. Mm -hmm. I was Meaning fearful. Meaning the officers. I was fearful for my life. I had to go at some point when I lost the photographer and I lost the producer on the beach. The, these two guys in particular kept harassing me and coming up to me and you know they were just saying inappropriate things and they were drunk. I finally had to go over to the two guys I was working with and find them on the beach and just say guys wow. can you tell him to get off of me. All right the, the last question I have is th this is beyond drinking and drugs. I mean if the average parent really knew what was going on right would it shock them? Shock them. It's I was shocked, and I don't even have kids, and mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're cooler than me. All right, I agree with that. All right, Ainsley, uh, tomorrow night you're going to be back, part yeah, three of your report. Tomorrow night we're showing you the portable jail cells. This is fascinating. I How, saw them. Yeah. Look like a dog cage. It looks like a dog cage. <laughs> yeah. These kids are being placed in there so that, that cops don't have to transport them two hours round trip to the jail. So they put them in these temporary holding cells. All right, great job, Ainsley. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks Sean. appreciate it. And coming up